football semi-final replay underway. McDonald getting it down low. Faris Trevor Mordua. The return pass is aimed at McDonald. Onto the trusty left boot. It's a very good start by Mel. Brian Maloney almost getting in his way. Here's Connor Mortimer sending this in and sending it over the bar. No way through there. Here McDonald in the overlap. Oh, that's a sweet kick. Connor Mortimer. Alan Dillon scored six points against Tyrone. And here's Mortimer sending it over the bar. Second point for Connor Mortimer. Second one from play. Nice ball inside for Connor Mortimer. He gets inside the cover. And he sends it over the bar for his third point. Referee, however, had blown his whistle. That score, we're not too sure whether he's going to allow it or not because he had blown the whistle. And the referee is, in fact, giving a free here. Considering his performance so far, this should be relatively easy, and it is. Marty McGrath flicking it forward, fires Mark Little. Trying to get inside, Tyler Gardner. Good work by Little. Can he finish? Yes. This is what we come to expect from this Romano side. Inside fires Connor Mortimer. Very well caught and turned and scored. Four points for Connor Mortimer. Three from play. Crossfield ball. Well gathered. This is Eamon Maguire. Plenty of Mayo players behind the ball, but the ball inside is not bad. It's Maguire. Fourth goal. It was patient. It was slow. But it certainly worked. James Sherry at the end of it. Finally, the male defensive wall had been penetrated and it took the slickest of touches to just get it past Peter Burke. Flicking it inside for his Ronan McGarrity. Not known for his scoring ability, but this time he hits the target. Coming through here is Trevor Mortimer. Chance here perhaps of a little bit more than a point, but he'll be happy with the point. It's a very good response by Mayo having conceded that goal earlier. Going to ground is Mark Little. Gets up and gives the ball inside to the goal scorer, Sherry. Onto his right boots, can he put it over the bar? The umpires consult and they wave the white flag. It's a goal and a point. How, in the name of God, did Charlie Mulgrew decide to drop this man? For Manor, seeking another score to go into the lead, Bradley. More in hope than any confidence. It's curling. It's curling over the bar. Incredible. For Mana are in front. One six to eight points. Getting it inside. Alan Dillon. Chance here for Trevor Mortimer. And he squeezes it inside the near post. Second point for Trevor Mortimer. Out for Alan Dillon. Great defending by Fermanagh. The effort is a good one. And it sneaks inside the post. By the super sub, David Brady. He brings the side level for the fifth time. Here's Trevor Mortimer on the overlap. He's coming through. Fermanagh are exposed here. Still Mortimer with the fisted punch. And Mill are in front. James Nallon inside the Fermanagh half of the field still Nallon over first the sub and that's over the bar Austin O'Malley it's a two point win surely for the men from Mayo and Mayo lead by 13 points to 1-8 referee blows the whistle it's the end of the road for Fermanagh the journey continues for Kieran McDonald and Mayo John Mohan has brought his county back to the All-Ireland Final for the first time since 1997.